Hi, welcome to another video. I have covered a bunch of tools that you can use to create great applications, although most of them require a lot of setup, which is obviously not something that everyone can do. But today, I have something that's super easy to use and can create great applications from a very user-friendly interface, and that's Magix Coder. Magix Coder is a new coding tool by AI Magix. AI Magix gives you access to multiple tools such as logo generator, image generator, article generation, and a bunch of other stuff. But now, they have added another option to their tool suite, and this time, it's for AI coding enthusiasts like me, and that's Magix Coder. Magix Coder allows you to generate code with a bunch of models including GPT-4.0, Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini, 1.5 Pro Flash, and others. And it's not just limited to code generation. You can also preview the code, iterate on the code, by sending further prompts until you get a final good result. Once you have the result, you can also download the code, which is also quite cool. It even has a feature through which you can analyze the generated code and improve its structure and everything. Now, let's check it out and create something. First, you'll need to go to their site and sign up for an account. It's pretty easy. So, once you have done that, you can sign in and you'll see this dashboard. Now, here you'll see a bunch of options like chatbot, image generator, logo designer, and other things. They are cool, but what concerns us is Magix Coder. Once you click it, you'll see this interface. Now, on the left, you can see the threads of your conversations and the applications you create. On the top right, you can choose the model you want to use, like GPT-4.0, Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, and Gemini 1.5 Flash or Pro models. I like the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model over here because currently it's the best at coding. So let's select Claude 3.5 Sonnet model over here. Now at the bottom you can send the prompt. Let's ask it to create a to-do list app. Once you send the prompt you can see the code being generated it's super fast. So, now the code is generated. You can look at the code here, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, you have three things that you can do with the generated code. The first option is that you can copy the code if you want to paste it into your own code base and use it. The second option is to analyze. This analyze option is really cool. It allows you to generate long documentation for the code and also make the generated code better. Let's click it and check. Okay, as you can see, it goes through four steps of analyzing. It first scans your code, then it does a code review, and then it improves the functionality and code structure, and then it generates the documentation. So, we'll need to wait for a bit. Okay, so... Now it's done. As you can see, it's a really long documentation about each aspect of the code. And the code is also much better in this with styling and everything. So, that's pretty cool as well. You can also copy it or download it in Markdown format, which is also really cool. Now, let's preview the code. As you can see, as soon as I click it, the preview is ready. You can see that the to-do app that it generated also looks really cool. I think the system prompt is doing a good job here as well. Let's check the to-do app now. Okay, so this is also working correctly. Now let's try to change something in this and see if it works or not. Let's ask it to add an edit option in each task created. Okay, so let's send the prompt here. As you can see, it's making the changes. If we wait a bit, you can see that the changes are now done, and here's the code. Again, we have the same things that we can do with the code. So, let's preview it now. Okay, as you can see, it loads correctly. 
Now, let's add a task here and edit it. Okay, so this is working fine. So, now you can also ask it for changes, and it can do that. It's pretty cool because, obviously, you can't have everything in the first generation. Once you think that everything looks good, you can just click on the download button, and the code file will be downloaded. Or you can also use the copy button to copy the code. Now, let's also try to generate something more interesting, like a snake game. Okay, so let's create a new thread here, and let's send the prompt here. Now, the code is being generated. Let's wait a bit. Okay, so here's the code. Let's preview it. Okay, so this is pretty cool and works fine as well. I really like how this looks and everything. So, this is also really cool. So, it can generate almost anything and it works really fast as well. Plus, you also get the option to generate the code using multiple models, which means that you are not just limited to one model and you can use multiple models as much as you want. The platform also has multiple other features like logo generator, image generator, story creator, and multiple other things as well, which is obviously also quite cool. Although they have a free tier, I'd recommend getting a subscription for smooth operations. The subscription starts from just $9 and goes up to $27. So, the pricing is pretty cheap, considering you get a bunch of tools, including image generator, article generator, and also access to all the major models. But just for you guys, they have also given me a coupon code, AI Code King 20, which you can use to get a 20% discount on all kinds of plans. They are also planning to add multiple other features to the tool to make it more cool, like they are going to add a code editor feature inside the tool itself. So, You'll also be able to edit the generated code, and they are also going to add their own LLM in the future, which will also be good to see. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.